Okay, I'm reloaded. <sighs> Big Dappuccino here with uh, we're gonna call this one uh, Show and Tell number three. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna detail my recent hauls from uh, online Walmart, Target, and surprisingly, Best Buy. Who knew? Uh, let's first get started. Uh, this is my online order from Amazon, which Amazon is becoming a, a very reliable source. Uh, I'm finding some good bargains on there. A lot of people, you hear them talk about eBay more, but I'm not, I don't know how the auctioning thing works. But I don't have time for that. <laughs> I just want to see something. And plus, I can put it on like a wish list and, or something like that. I'll save it for later. Or I can also do some more, you know what I'm saying. With eBay, it seems like you see stuff up there. It's listed. It may not be there for, for a while. Amazon, it seems like it stays around a little bit. So I prefer Amazon. Maybe I'll try eBay. I don't know. Right now, Amazon is doing is is to me. I, I Amazon has done some things for me as far as a customer that has really uh got got me to the point where I, I'm very loyal. You know, I, I'm, I'm buying clothes on on uh, Amazon. So yeah, this is I've been wanting a trailer for a while. And I originally wanted a flatbed, but they're so expensive, man. It's it's flatbeds by themselves that I've seen they're like twenty dollars and up. Really nice ones. And of course, I'm rolling with green light. Uh I originally wanted to get a flatbed, like I said, but I had a Silverado. I had it. Late last year. It doesn't have a hitch. <laughs> and that's probably something I should have looked at. And it's it's probably no... Because it has the, the part where you can put the hitch in. But uh, I don't know what to do with that. So... It doesn't have a hitch. Cool truck, but it doesn't have a hitch. It's cool. I mean, it was, it was my first... One of my early expenses with green light at my one of my first truck purchases for now. But got this one. This this trailer was only nine dollars before tax. Nine dollars. <laughs> my man, it was like not it was other sellers who was trying to get it for like maybe thirteen. But this particular seller was selling it for nine dollars, like eight eighty or something. The truck is a different color; it's similar to mine. <clears throat> this one is a two thousand eighteen from two thousand seventeen, and this one is a two thousand. Let me bet. Is a 2016 for 2017. Look at the hitch. Very similar. It's, it's very. It's some trim details that are different. This one's got black accent. It. It's got a, a different grill. It's got like chrome trim on the handles instead of that black trim. Tail lights are slow, slightly different. Well, they're kind of the same. It's just trim differences. Different colors. <clears throat> this trailer is cool. My only problem with this trailer is that the door opens, excuse me, 
the door opens from the bottom instead of opening from the top. So when I take out a car, I have to do have to do a lot of manipulating. <sighs> Work with me now. I may not do it. It's, it's being difficult right here. There you go. <laughs> and you gotta work with this thing. Excuse me. Technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, it's not ideal. That's that's the old inside of the trail. See how the door. I mean, you got to push the car to the front. The car I had in there was a, a white Mustang I got from Charlie's Angels. I had this since last year. I never showed it in the video. I just never had a chance to. And it was pretty cheap itself. I think I only paid like, I think $6 or $7 for this car. And it's a Mustang too. Very rare. Mustang too. In fact, a Mustang 2 King Cobra. Cool car. Okay. That's the trailer. This Trans Am was part of the order, but it arrived earlier. I got the car, the truck uh, last Saturday. I think the car probably came either Thursday or Friday. And in fact, the truck was supposed to not not come, truck and trailer coming to Tuesday a few days ago, but it came last Saturday. So, stuff on Amazon, it only took like, it took less than, it took like three days for this. It, it took about five days for that, which is not bad. Okay, let's get into the Trans Am. Only paid, excuse me, let me put this trailer back up. There you go. Only paid like four ninety five for this before tax. It ended up probably being around seven. Probably eight and some eight. Look at the detail. Trunk, trunk, oh, the hood opens too. Which I just had it open. It's a pain to open. Oh, oh man. I'm, I'm not dealing with it right now. <laughs> it's being difficult. So. Trust me, it opens. I had it open. The product was open on the video. Very detailed. This is the packaging. It's a green light series on Meekum Auctions, which the TV show. Meekum Auctions. Sorry about that. Very detailed packaging. It tells you about the car. Uh, it was a real car that sold in... Can can send me for twenty three thousand, and it's giving you all the options. It's a nineteen seventy nine Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. It's telling you that the engine, what engine has automatic transmission. One owner they, who owned it from new factory air conditioning. It's telling you uh, what kind of engine in it will have what. All types of information. Kind of similar to, uh, I have a Plymouth Roadrunner 1970, and it's from the Graveyard Series, and, and it's detailed, gives you all the information too. It's a cool car, man. That's why I deal with Amazon, man. And with that said, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, Wednesday, I went to Target, and more and more, I'm getting disappointed when I come to the pegs. It, I mean, it is what it is. People are going to do what they're going to do, but I mean, 
you're dealing with hoarders and everything. And and when I went to the pigs, man, you can tell that it was collector scalpers, hoarders there probably early. I tried to go earlier this week. I wanted to go probably like Monday or Tuesday. I had things to do, other things to do. So when I got there Wednesday, I ain't find nothing. I ain't find no new matchbox. The te the pegs have been have been decimated. But I got an indication. I got this matchbox just as something to get. Something for the collection. Fire truck. It's a freight later, but uh but <clears throat> When I got there, I discovered, you see it, they had only one of these and I think two of the Lamborghinis from the Fast and Furious series. You can tell there are hoarders around because there's is no way that I think one of them works there and I think I kind of had an encounter with him. He was kind of looking at me and kind of gauging me to see if I was collecting. And I asked him, Are you a collector or whatever? He had civilian clothes on too, but now I seen him in uniform and I put one and one together. So he probably has buddies he calls or whatever. He's probably selling a lot of stuff online. I don't know why this wasn't snatched up, but I'm lucky to have it. It's a 1974 Escort RS 1600. I wish I had the uh, Mona Lisa S15 or the R35 Brian Brian O'Connor drove in Too Fast Too Furious or the uh, R32, I think. But I'm, I'm happy to have this one. It's a pretty cool car. <sighs> For six fifty though, I could have got a green light. Well, I'm kind of getting disappointed with the car culture. I, I just totally gave up on the Super Treasure Hunts. I don't even... I'll try to look for them, but I don't get too into it. I'm starting to shift my focus to green light. Cause the hoarding is, is takes the fun out the uh out of the hobby. Okay, let's move on. Cause I'm I'm just ran. Okay, that's Wednesday. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm sorry. That that same Wednesday that I went to the, the Target, I also went went to back to my Best Buy, not Best Buy, uh Barnes and Noble. And to see the previous where I, where I caught the, the three car culture, the uh, drag strip demons, they they have a display still up, but it's like they don't. That's not their thing, so they just putting anything up. So they only had up another one of the Dodge Coronets, and I already had that. So, but I decided to pop in at Best Buy because I'm looking for still looking for the Forza series. And I know Hot Wheels, sometimes you can find them there. And since they do video games, I'm thinking Best Buy should have the Forza series. But they don't. I haven't seen it. But I did find this. It's from the uh, Gran Turismo series. I think I have another car from here. I have another one of these cars I got from here. I think the BMW. Did I got the M4? I don't know. No. I got that Skyline R34. And it's pretty cool, man. It's a Renault Sport RS. And probably why it stay on the pad. Because most people don't know what a Renault is. So... I lucked out on that. Uh, okay. 
That was Wednesday. Now let's go to last night, Thursday. Well, yesterday afternoon. Uh, I went to Walmart. Their pegs look worse than Tarmark, Tar Target. They're not updated. <clears throat> uh, you can tell it was instances of hoarding and, and stealing. You can tell. Uh, I don't know. They they don't really update their pegs. They have two a big dump bin and it's poorly maintained and it's just frustrating to go through that stuff. But um I did find this though. This was in some strange dump bid clearance thing and I guess they were getting rid of their, all their merchandise from uh Related to past stuff they didn't sell. And this is the Batman vs. Superman series. And it's a Gotham Charger. Police Charger. The deco was cool. No details and stuff though. <coughs> I picked up these models. Hopefully, I don't think I have this one. Main line. It's a Mustang. Oops, <laughs> I got to pick that up later. <laughs> okay, we're live, so <sighs> there's no harm. I just knocked my trailer over. Um, this Monster RX-7. And this Hallinator. I be I I don't think I had this color, and I mainly just use these to prop up other cars. It's not it's not really a scale a good scale for to be doing that, but I think the prize of this thing is I found these, and that's how I can tell it was hoarding. These were hitting on the bottom of like some big, uh, what do you call it? radio control cars, and uh. They were supposed to be on the pegs. And you could tell one of them had been broken too under the bottom. And the way I didn't want to get these, because I think I paid. Like eight, 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 eight sixty or something like that. Eight ninety-seven. Yeah, eight ninety-seven for this. After tax, I kind of got. I could have got a green light with this. A pretty good green light, man. It's cool and all, and it's a full Echo Line, which is strange because I, I'm in this Echo Line. First, it was this, the Hot Wheels uh, car culture truck. It's kind of a peg warmer. Not as much as the gold and uh, one with flames, but it's a cool truck. And then I got this one from the Walmart near my job. And it's an Echo Line, too. This is a 65. I think this is a... What's this? Yeah, this is 65. It's the same casting. And they're both in twos. It's just got the Coca-Cola livery. You're basically playing for the Coca-Cola livery. And that's why I bypassed this Hot Wheels uh, Disney thing everybody's going crazy for. They had it in Giant. And I'm like, in the supermarket the other day, their pegs weren't even maintained. But you can put that shipper up. I know it's better merchandising and marketing. And they figure everybody knows Disney, so... We're, we're gonna, this gonna sell. I'm not paying, and it, it was like $8.99. For that, I can buy a green light or an M2. They're casting some Disney fantasy casting, and it has Fantasia and, 
and the Sorcerer's Apprentice and all that kind of stuff. I mean, one of the castings is cool and whatever. It got real riders and details, but come on, man. I'm not I'm not falling for the okie doke. Um you already did some of them models in car culture. So I'm not paying. These the whole I think this this was the spotlight last night. It's it's a pretty cool vehicle to have in the collection. But, uh, of course, the car culture. Everything else is blur, blur, blur. And, of course, the trail I knocked down <laughs> in my Trans Am, which I can't get the hood to open now. But, uh, yeah, that's my video. Uh, I'll just say, uh, keep on hunting, uh, if you're hunting. Um, use the online source. I found a lot of bargains online. I'm not gonna lie. I also that's where I found my hot my Hot Wheels or uh, Car Culture Nissan Laurel and uh, Skyline. The Skyline. Uh, I forgot what what it's called. Yeah, the Skyline I got. It's not it's not the Ken Murray. It's the one after the Ken Murray. So you know which one? The C C two ten. And uh, I had a good deal on that. So look around, man. You can find some bargains online. Don't 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 go after the first uh uh the first the first thing you see. Kind of look around, look at different sellers. Maybe come back to it. You shouldn't be paying over twenty dollars. I know some people do. For certain premium diecast, but come on, man. On the secondary market, I'm not paying over twenty dollars, man. Forget about that. Uh, so that's my video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. I know this time you see in my cable box, <laughs> old school. And this is, this is seeing all my the most mess up collection over here. But yeah, that's the channel. Subscribe if you like content. Uh, I probably will get better, but I, I do this live, so it's not. I'm not trying to win awards with this man. I only want to be an internet star. I do this for the love of the diecast. So. Until next time, take care of yourself and uh, show a little love for the diecast. Peace.